Hello lads and lassies and welcome back to my channel, it's Mr Mayhem today. We'll be going over what I've watched and for the first time, I don't know if this will be a temporary segment or not, but um, you'll see why, and for the first time, like I said, what I played in the month of February 2024. Now before we get into this, if you do enjoy this, make sure to like, drop a comment, subscribe for more, you can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description now. Uh, the main reason I'm doing what I played is because I didn't really watch m much this month. I go through phases where I either play loads of games, or watch loads of movies and TV. It's there's never really an in between. So um, yeah, I think I'm in the game phase. So there will still be I will still be watching things like new releases and stuff. But for the most part, it's a safe bet that I won't have watched much. But I'll I thought I'd try doing the what I played as well. So we'll start off with what I watched. It's very short. Um, so on the third, sorry, on the third, on the second, I saw Argyle. I didn't. I thought it was not good. It was too long. It was funny at parts, but it's just a mess, and I found it to be excruciatingly boring at parts, but I didn't hate it. It's a two. Then on the third, I rewatched Titanic for the first time in God knows how long. I don't think I've seen it in all of my adult life. I think the last time I saw it was like when I was 10, maybe, or 11. I don't know. But uh, it was absolutely fantastic. I get the hype. The love story really does make the tragedy that much more just heartbreaking and yeah fantastic stuff five stars the 4k as well looks fucking gorgeous then on the fourth i watched um grounded 2 making of the last of us part 2 uh, this was a great documentary um really really enjoyed this i know they didn't focus a, a little bit more on the or at all on the music but i did really enjoy it for what it was four and a half um it was very interesting to see what they went through when all the leaks happened and all the bullshit came up it was just very 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 just kind of pathetic to see what people would say but uh, then on the uh, and then after that I watched the first part grounded making of the last of us and I uh, enjoyed that as well um this one was a lot shorter I didn't enjoy it as much as the second part it was still cool to see how it all came together and everything but um yeah three and a half enjoyed it for what it was then a big jump to the 16th I saw Madam Web <laughs> uh, this film is atrocious it is awful um, I had a great time watching it, though. I find it absolutely hilarious how bad it was. The villain was awfully acted, um, but that's probably not his fault. From what I've heard, he's actually quite good in a lot of things. Dakota Johnson was awful as well. Everyone else was just pretty bad. I find it so funny how bad it was. Um, but it's one of those things where the first time you see it, you could find it funny for me. I don't think I could watch it again and find it funny. It's a half a star. It's awful. Um, then on the 17th, I watched The Fugitive with Callum. Um, I'd never seen it before. I thought it was pretty good, um, although I thought Tommy Lee Jones' performance was a bit goofy. Um, Callum found this very strange, but I thought it was a bit goofy. Um, but I thought it was pretty good, yeah. Uh, then we doubled Then we double build the uh, mid-2000 Fantastic Four films. I really enjoy these films. The first one's a three and a half, the second one's a three. The first one is childhood, as is the second one, but the first one more. I remember playing the game on PS2 a lot and really enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's cheesy, it's not great, but I actually think it's... For what it is, it's pretty good. Um, and the second one, I think, is not as good, but I still think it's pretty good. Um, although, they just make Galactus a big fart cloud, and now that I'm older, I can see why people are annoyed. Because I remember when I first went to watch it, you know, when I when I was in my um, early teens, I was like, oh, Galactus, that'd be cool. Where's the fucking massive... Ga oh, it's a fart cloud. Okay. So, yeah, three. And then the last thing I watched this month, on the 25th, I rewatched Turning Red. I love this film. I think it's great. I think it's just the message it sends of just uh, being yourself and the just, you don't have to live up to your family's expectations. It's great. I love it. Four and a half. It can be, it can be a bit cringe sometimes, but I still really do love it. And that's everything I watch. Now, time for the new segment. So, if you've seen my pickups video, I actually got a Steam Deck. Now, the games I've been playing on this... That I'm that are of note. Um, I played I played a lot of Orcs Must Die three. That ran really well on this. I never played an Orcs Must Die game, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I played through a game called Beacon Pines, which was really really good. Um, it didn't take me long to get through it, but I did still really enjoy it. It was very very good. Um, I do recommend it if you've never played it before. It's short, but um, it's quite heartfelt. Um. I also played through. I, I say I played through. I played about seven hours of Days Gone on here. Um, Days Gone is a game I couldn't really get into on the PS4. 
I just find it a bit boring, but I start again on here, and it's all right. The problem I have with it is just the resources you collect don't really contribute much to like a bigger goal, like um, randomly. Like this wouldn't make sense, but if you could like uh, get loads of scrap to upgrade your bike or upgrade your armor, you, know, you have to buy those upgrades. I don't really. There's not much sense of progression. It's just gathering supplies to survive rather than gathering supplies to survive and upgrade your stuff. But um, it's all right for what it is. I don't know if I'm going to finish it because I'm starting to get a bit bored with it, but we'll see. Um, I also played a bit of... Hang on, let me have a look through here. This is a very... If you can tell, this is a very... Um, like just, I was not ready for this segment. Um, I also played... Where the hell is it all? I can't find it. What's installed? Hang on. I also tried Cyberpunk on here, which, oh my god, runs really well. Um, I got the Phantom Liberty and the standard game bundle. Uh, Helldivers 2 runs really well on this. I only got it today, but I'm very much enjoying it. And, yeah, just most stuff I play on here runs really well. There's only been, I've only encountered a couple of games, but I'm going to save that. I'm going to do a video, um, maybe halfway through the year, going through my experience with the deck. I'm taking notes, and we'll go from there, but... Um, yeah, that's what I've played this month, like, and uh, this month I'll have a few movies I'll watch, but for the most part it's going to be played. But yeah, let me know what your favourite thing you watched this month was, and what your favourite thing you played this month was. For me, it's probably... Oh, that was another game, Planet Crafter! I played a lot of Planet Crafter, that game was fantastic, got all the achievements out of that, it's still in early access, but I'm looking forward to seeing that finished. That was probably my favourite thing I played this month. Um, my favourite thing I watched was... Yeah, probably Turning Red. Yeah, that was good. But yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you do enjoy this one, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Links in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.